So this is a bit strange. We're looking for number 46, but it doesn't exist. <laughs> this house over there, number 44, looks like it's been extended. And I believe that was the grandparents' house of Robbie Williams. This is the Red Lion, one of the oldest pubs in the area. Robbie's parents took over the pub when he was just a baby, and he lived here from 1975 to 1977. Robbie Williams' full name is Robert Peter Williams and he was born on the 13th of February 1974 in Stoke-on-Trent. He found fame as a member of the pop group Take That but achieved greater success with his solo career. He has sold 75 million records worldwide. His mother read an advert seeking members for a new band and suggested that he try out for the group. Although most of the group's music was written and performed by Gary Barlow, Robbie Williams did perform lead vocals on their first top 10 hits. Hits like Could It Be Magic, which was a Barry Manilow cover as well as I've Found Heaven and Everything Changes. Robbie's use of drugs and alcohol brought him into conflict with Martin Smith, the band's manager. And he was also unhappy with his musical ideas not being taken serious by singer Gary Barlow and Martin Smith, so he left the group in 1995. Robbie Williams launched his solo career in 1996 with a cover of a George Michael song called Freedom, which reached number two in the UK charts. Robbie was teamed up with songwriter and producer Guy Chambers and together they produced Robbie Williams' debut album, Life Through a Lens, which was released in September 1997 and reached number 11 in the UK charts. The album eventually managed to sell 3 million copies in Europe after the release of the fourth single, Angels, which was based on a song originally written by Ray Heffernan. Ray was an unknown Irish musician who wrote the song about his girlfriend after she had a miscarriage. Robbie Williams was out drinking in Dublin and met Ray by chance and they started talking about music. To avoid a lawsuit, Robbie Williams bought the rights to the song from Heffernan before it was released for a measly seven and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> Well, well, time out. So you are saying that Robbie Williams' biggest hit, Angels, wasn't even written by himself or Guy Chambers? Yes, it's true, but the song we all know and love, Angels, was in fact originally written by Ray Heffernan. Do a quick Google search and you will find his original demo. And you will find a very basic song like Angels with a very similar melody. The sad fact to this story is that still to this very day, Robbie Williams denies that Ray had anything to do with the creation of one of the most iconic tracks of the 90s. Robbie has achieved seven number one singles in the UK and all but one of his 12 studio albums have also reached number one in the UK charts. Six of his albums are among the top 100 biggest selling albums in the UK and two of them in the top 60. He also has a Guinness World Record in 2006 for selling 1.6 million tickets in a single day during his Close Encounters tour. I was never a Take That fan, in fact I despised that kind of music, but when Robbie Williams went solo I thought it'd be a total flop, and he totally surprised me, but when he started releasing tracks like Let Me Entertain You and Rock DJ, I changed his mind, I even bought his Greatest Hits album, and I would listen to it quite a lot. This next artist was part of the biggest girl group of all time and brought girl power to the masses and it's in this video right here. 